Now I'd like to demonstrate some basic functionality of the model browser, which is this tree region that appears on the left side of your viewport. It contains all of your assemblies and parts in your model, and information about their color, render style, visibility, and for assemblies the number of entities contained within them. You can expand an assembly by clicking this icon, or by clicking the plus icon you can show all sublevels. By clicking the minus icon you can collapse all of these sublevels for an assembly. You can control the visibility of the entire model browser using this icon. And you can also set the scaling here to control the size of the text in the columns. You can resize the model browser itself by dragging on the corner, the bottom, or the side. And if you double click on these side grippers, it will be sized automatically to fit the available content. You can also search. So in this case, I'll search for all of the items that have the term Axle and I'll see that they're highlighted in the model browser and in the viewport. Another thing you can do is drag and drop to control members of assemblies. In this case I have this left shock rod that I'd like to add to my left front axle assembly. So I'll drag and drop and now I can see that that part has been added to this assembly. I can also click to modify part names and control that through the model browser. So you can see you have access to a number of features using the model browser.